Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm discussing an exciting topic I guess for PJs, the Camille Rose Naturals Kids line. From the first time I heard about it, like I guess a month or so ago, I heard that it was coming to Sally's, I was like, I know I want it, so I was just waiting for Sally's to have a good sale, to give me an excuse to go over there. So they finally had their two for three sale. Now this is not two for three, unfortunately, but this is still two dollars off. So I picked up this Camille Rose Kids, the Sunday Glaze. And I also picked up like some Eden Body Works stuff, which I'm gonna also review soon. So stay tuned for that. The Camille Rose Nashos Kids Collection, it was really interesting because I went over there kind of open to trying all of them, but the brown butter hair balm wasn't really for me. Like I don't even, I hardly use creams and I really don't use creams without at least water as the first ingredient. That was just, um, you know, oils and butters. And it was like $9 for 4 ounces, so I decided to just leave that one alone. <laughs> and then they had a buttercream, which to my amazement had silicones in it. I mean, it is dimethicone, which I guess is water soluble, but I don't use silicone, so I couldn't use that one either. So that's why I just ended up getting this. I was a little surprised to see dimethicone in there since I've never seen dimethicone in any of their products or silicones in any of their products. So here are the ingredients. And it's really interesting because it has like water first and then coconut oil. So, I mean, if you're not local for the cocoa, then it may not be for you. But for me, I don't like coconut oil that much directly, but somehow in products, it's just usually amazing for me. And this wasn't any different. I love this product. So, water, coconut oil, marshmallow, sunflower seed oil. So, marshmallow being marshmallow root, just clarifying. <laughs> Um, sunflower seed oil, brassical butter, which I haven't even heard of. Um, I need to do some research on that. And then cetral alcohol, mandarin orange peel, which is good for me because I like a little bit of a fruit extract and something kind of to bring the pH down a little bit. And then castor seed oil and L-arginine, not too sure on that. And fragrance. So fragrance is pretty far down on the list, which is good, I guess, for a kid's mind. But it still does have a scent that hits you. It's slightly sweet, slightly floral. To me, it is still kind of strong, but definitely tamed down compared to her other scents. What was most interesting about this for me was the texture. It went on really light. My skin is ashy again, which I guess is good. <laughs> so it is, this is the texture, like it's running and everything, and it went on really light. But for some reason, it really sticks to your, your hair and I guess to my hands. It kind of reminds me of probably just using oil, like if you were using coconut oil or an oil, how it kind of sticks to your strands and, you know, clings to your strands. It has that same kind of effect, which I really like. So I've tried so many leave-ins and there's no other leave-in that did that. This is like a unique leave-in for me, which is kind of big news. It definitely seems moisturizing. I have it in my hair right now and I haven't had any issues, so... Um, it did a good job of like curl defining and... The slip was nice and everything like that. And it was $10, but Sally's has like $2 off now, so I paid like $8 for it. Given that it's just $8, I think it's a good deal, at least right now. And I actually like the way it performed in my hair. It's pretty simple in terms of ingredients, but it does have the essentials. Water, coconut oil, marshmallow root, orange peel, you know. And it does seem to work really well. I'm always on the lookout for the Camille Rose leave-ins. I need to really do another try of all the leave-ins because the fresh curl kind of formed in my hair. Take a look at the honey video if you want to see what I mean. The moisture milk, I loved it the first year and the second year it didn't really work for me. The honey, I'm still, you know, wanna take a look at the honey video. <laughs> I have to try that one again. The latte, I did like, but this one seems like it's even better for moisture retention. So I think this will work well for like all porosities. And I think I prefer this to the latte just because this is like an extra, this feels like you did the leave-in and the oil step in one. So it's definitely interesting. I think if you're a PJ, you should just try it just to experience it. And plus it, it works nicely on my hair. I don't want to talk too much about it. I want to show you how it worked on my hair. And I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm not doing a voiceover. I'm just going to come and just real time show you how I do my wash and go. Take a look at how this product worked. Take a look at the product. I love when I use Camille Rose, like I just can't keep my hands out of my hair, it's just, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, demo. So this is my hair without any product, <laughs> and I'm adding in the leave-in. It goes on as if it's heavy, but it's not, like you see how it just kind of sticks to strands? I'm thinking maybe it's the oil, because it does have coconut oil as the second ingredient, 
So maybe it goes on kind of oily. It doesn't feel overly oily anyway. It just kind of sticks to the strand nicely. Overall, so far, I like it. <laughs> it has nice slip. It's a light texture, which I like. But it goes on creamy and rich, which I like. And it does a good job defining curls, which I like. Even though it said it was for kids, I wasn't going to let that stop me because I just had to try a new Camille Rose leave-in. So basically all I do is just apply the leave-in near my roots and then my ends and then I just kind of work it in like a rake to distribute the product. So this is the result. And overall I like it. So what I'm going to do next is apply this oil. It is interesting though because it kind of didn't feel like it added much water to my hair. So it didn't dry my hair but Looking at my hair, it doesn't look like how it looks after a lot of the leave-ins that I've been using lately. My hair just looks like it doesn't have that much water in it. And now I'm going to add some aloe vera juice and then add my gel. I'm using the Camille Rose Curl Maker. My hair just look like it needs a little bit more water to be soaking wet, or to be as wet as soaking wet as my hair does it anyway. I'm going to carefully rake which just helps the gel to be distributed to the hair in the middle since my sections are pretty big for my, you know, density. So if I didn't rake, <laughs> I'd probably just end up with like dry inside. Even now this inside looks like it needs some gel. I always try to remember to do a check to make sure that I have gel everywhere. So I'm mostly just trying to get it on my roots in here. Wear a curl pattern, please, like anybody. It's just hair. So now it's going through a lot easier. So it's time to put that more gel in the middle. So this is the section all gel up. And before I do my shape to separate, can I just remove my clips? Give it a final spray with aloe vera juice. And then I'm gonna just put some more curl maker on the canopy. And now I go around it. <laughs> So that was it. Let me know what you think of me just coming on. I know it's like less edited, but is it more relatable? You know, was it helpful? Let me know if you like that version or if you like the voiceovers better. And let me know what you thought of the product. Like, did you see how it just kind of coated my hair without my hair feeling coated? Like, it was kind of cool, right? I'll definitely be repurchasing it and I do like it. Black Friday, probably get me one of these. And definitely subscribe if you want to see the latest and greatest products being reviewed right here. <laughs> Bye, see you in the next one.